This week, we're washing the bus while boondocking out in the Arizona desert. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. We've been living in our motorhome while both working full-time for over two years. This season is all about building community on the road and sharing more behind the scenes of our RV life along the way. It's been a dusty couple weeks out here in the desert, so we just ran to the pit stop and got a bladder of water. And today we are going to wash our car and our motorhome out in the desert off of our water pump and using our pressure washer and just using about 40 or so gallons of water in our bladder. We'll see how much we use. Maybe we'll have some extra for a shower. Bladders to 40 gallons is $2. So here's the water bladder. This is what we use to not have to move the bus. It's super simple to get this thing filled. It just fits in the back of this old Jeep and works great to go get it transferred over to the RV. Great. So the bladder's in the back of the Jeep and we connect it with a little short whip hose and it goes directly to our spare water pump. So what we use is we will just use like a standard three gallon, four gallon bucket. Um, this is what we keep some other stuff in so it's convenient while we're here. Uh, we just have a extendable brush to be able to wash the bus from the bucket. And then we use a squeegee to be able to clean it quick or dry it quickly. Um, we know like doing it by towel would be preferred, but in this lifestyle, when you have so much square footage, this is pretty efficient. So, and then we'll just use this because the squeegee, uh, the big squeegee is a little bit too big for some of the windows. So this will work a little bit better. And we have a pressure washer. Yeah, we have a pressure washer, Ryobi, just simple pressure washer that we use. Um, that way it's, uh, we don't have to use that much water. and microfibers. We forgot to mention this in our tools, but we use these to clean up all of the drips. It seems like there's all these nooks and crannies that always drip even after you've dried. So there's several reasons why we choose to um, wash the bus while we're boondocking. Um, the RV park that we're getting ready to go to because we're going down to Mexico and we want to get stuff flushed and cleaned and we need to go for a few more doctor's appointments before we head south. Um, they won't charge us $25 for us to be able to wash our bus when we're there. So instead, we decided to pay $2 for a bladder fill at the pit stop here in Quartzsite on our overnight stop. and fill from that or wash from the bladder. Um, we've done it before. This is a way that we have washed the rig when we're out boondocking and we quite, kind of enjoy it. The 
this is not the most unusual thing you'll see happen in quartzite, but we are getting some looks uh, from many of the passers-by. This is something that like we don't take advantage of all the time, but we're about ready to go to an RV park. It's kind of a nice RV park. We want to look clean when we're falling in because they do have an age limit and they did accept us. So we'd like to show up like our pictures were clean. With the remaining water from the bladder, we're gonna put that into the bus so we can shower tonight. We probably had enough for one of us to shower, but not both of us to shower. So a little add on um, to be able to do that while we're out here boondocking. We are back on the road after two full weeks in Portside. Had a really fun time celebrating the holidays and bringing in the new year with our friends. Well, we just cracked our windshield again. Yeah. Got passed by a semi truck and kicked up a rock and it busted our windshield. And last time the driver's side windshield busted, it took 12 weeks to get it sorted and replaced with our insurance because takes a long time to build the glass and ship it. And uh, now it's the passenger side. So we'll have a whole new windshield when we're done with all this. <laughs>